वेलकम दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज टैबलेट कोटिंग प्रोसेस और द टू वीडियोस दैट इज ग्रेनुलेशन प्रोसेस एंड टैबलेट कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस यू विल गेट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज टैबलेट कोटिंग एंड व्हाई इज इट यूज्ड इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री आंसर इज टैबलेट कोटिंग इज अ प्रोसेस वेयर अ थिन लेयर ऑफ कोटिंग मटेरियल इज अप्लाइड टू द सरफेस ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल टैबलेट्स इट सर्व्स वेरियस पर्पजेज including improving the tablet's appearance test masking protection from moisture and light and controlled release of drug what are the common types of tablet coating methods answer is the common tablet coating methods include film coating that is aqueous or non aqueous sugar coating enteric coating and functional coating example sustained release coating how does film coating differ from sugar coating in tablet manufacturing answer is film coating involves applying a thin polymer based layer resulting in smoother finish and faster production whereas sugar coating on other hand uses multiple layers of sugar and uses excipients for more traditional appearance what are the main challenges faced during tablet coating processes answer is common challenges include achieving uniform coating distribution preventing over or under coating ensuring adhesion of the coating material on tablet surface and avoiding defects like peaking peeling or chipping this is very basic question what is film coated tablets answer is a film coating is a thin polymer based coat applied to a solid dosage form such as tablet the thickness of such coating is usually between 20 to 100 micrometer next question which solvents are commonly used for film coating process answer is ipa and methylene blue are the most commonly used solvents for film coating next question which polymers are used for enteric coating polymers used in enteric coating of tablets are as below cellulose acetate phthalate acrylate polymers hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose phthalate polyvinyl acetate phthalate and shellac next question which material is used as opacifier in film coating answer is titanium dioxide talc and aluminum silicate are mainly used as opacifiers in film coating This is very important and frequently asked question what is the principle of coating machine answer is the basic principle of tablet coating involves the application of coating solution to a moving bed of tablets with the concurrent use of heated air to facilitate evaporation of the solvent the distribution of coating is achieved by the movement of tablets either perpendicular or vertical what is perforated coating pan answer is the coating drum is an enclosed housing with multiple spray nozzles and these spray nozzles atomize the coating solution this coater have an dry inlet air flows from the upper section of drum passing in between the tablets which leaves the drum through perforation or holes what are the process parameters which are to be checked during coating here 10 important process parameters are given these are inlet temperature outlet temperature spray rate atomizing air pressure pan rpm gun distance from tablet bed weight gain of tablets peristaltic pump rpm tablet thickness tablet hardness and group weight and appearance of tablets what are the defects of coated tablets here 10 commonly observed defects of coated tablets are given these are twin tablets cracking of tablets partially coated tablets incomplete drying edge broken peeling print defects shade variation weight variation and debossing or embossing fill when we should qualify coating machine answer is at the time of initial introduction of coating machine into the premises or facility we should qualify it secondly we should qualify it on the basis of periodic requalification and third frequency is when major change is done to the equipment that is coating machine we should qualify it what we should check during line clearance for coating machine following are the few check points that we should check during the coating process start these are the area is properly cleaned and labeled equipment cleaning and labeling no leftover of previous product 
टेम्परेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी लेवल इन एरिया डिफरेंशियल प्रेशर बैलेंस वेरिफिकेशन साइन बी एम आर एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑर्डर इज अवेलेबल एंड वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ लॉट्स एंड वेट ऑफ मटेरियल वॉट आर द क्रिटिकल प्रोसेस वेरिएबल्स ड्यूरिंग कोटिंग प्रोसेस फॉलोइंग आर द क्रिटिकल प्रोसेस वेरिएबल्स ड्यूरिंग कोटिंग प्रोसेस गन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बेड स्प्रे रेट पैन लोड इनलेट टेम्परेचर एटोमाइजिंग एयर प्रेशर निगेटिव प्रेशर इन पैन पैन आर पी एम एंड आर पी एम ऑफ पेरिस्टाल्टिक पंप वॉट वी शूड चेक ड्यूरिंग वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ फिजिकल अपेयरेंस ड्यूरिंग कोटिंग प्रोसेस एंसर इज इन प्रोसेस टेस्टिंग शैल बी कैरिड आउट फॉर वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ फिजिकल अपेयरेंस इट शुड इंक्लूड वेरिफिकेशन फॉर स्टिकिंग पिकिंग कैपिंग शेड वेरिएशन शेप एम्बॉसिंग और एनग्रेविंग हाउ मच बेस्ट साइज वी शूड टेक इन कोटिंग मशीन फ्रेवन वेक्टर्स प्रोडक्शन साइज यूनिट्स आर डिजाइन टू अकोमोडेट बैचेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव टू नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट of the pan's total working volume final batch size to be taken in coating pan shall be decided based on the qualification outcome and three consecutive validation batch run what are the important components of coating machine refer below pictorial for understanding the basic components of coating machine in coating we have mixing baffle spray gun tablet bed coating pan solution pump and solution tank to support coating activity we have cooling coils inlet blower heating elements and exhaust blower this is very important question what will happen if coating pan speed is too high or too low answer is if you run your coating pan too slowly the tablet's bed may lag or pause intermittently when this occurs some tablets may spend too much time in the spray zone and become overweight which could lead to sticking or picking defects If the coating pan speed is too fast the tablets may begin to move erratically through the spray zone rather than traveling uniformly with the rest of the bed which can produce undercoated tablets How much should be the distance between spray gun nozzle and tablet bed as per frown vector recommendation a distance of 8 to 10 inches is recommended for distance between spray gun nozzle and the tablet bed However the simplest way to test spray gun's atomization and spray pattern is to remove spray bar from the machine and spray some solution onto the large piece of paper while matching the distance between the spray nozzles and tablet bed this will allow you to check the droplet size and see if there are any dead zones or overlapping spray patterns How much should be the spray gun pattern air pressure there should not be more gap between the spray and there should not be overlapping you can refer the below three photographs or pictorial presentations in which a represents the more gap between the spray whereas c represents the overlapping pattern b represents the ideal spray pattern which raw materials are used in tablet coating in below table commonly used raw materials for tablet coating are mentioned these are polymers plasticizers colorants opacifiers solvents glidants disintegrants surfactants entry coating materials and materials used in sustained release coating this is last and very important question what recent advancements have been made in tablet coating technology answer is recent advancements include the use of novel polymers for controlled release continuous coating techniques to enhance efficiency automation and real time monitoring systems for improved process control and introduction of eco friendly and sustainable coating materials keep watching farm grow subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry